Hey, what's going on guys? NSZ85. I uh, was doing some simple upgrades on my SBR and I thought, you know, let's make a video. I think it's been a couple months or years. Either way, let's just talk about it a little bit. Um, so what I did today was I replaced my uh, mil spec receiver extension with this Voltor A5 system. I'm sure most of you have heard about uh, the Voltor A5 system, but if not, I'll just kind of go over it real quick. It's just a little bit longer and it uses a proprietary buffer and buffer spring. I'll go ahead and pop this out and show you. So this is what a normal one looks like. And then this is the proprietary Voltor one. It's like a rifle length buffer spring and then it has a longer buffer that also has like little springs built in so it doesn't doesn't really uh, rattle but it still gives you that that hammer force forward so very simple upgrade it alleviates uh, allegedly a lot of issues with cycling and things of that nature and on my 10.3 inch sometimes when I'm running suppressed she runs a little hot so hopefully this will help mitigate some of the recoil um, so yeah uh, along with the Voltor you'll notice kind of a, a different looking castle nut here right looks a little a little bit different and what that is is the four controls Castle nut. Uh, just a couple things about this that's neat. Now you guys know if you've watched any of my videos that I'm a huge proponent for staking your castle nut. Uh, it's very very simple and it literally saves you from such a headache from having your castle nut come loose. I don't care if you use blue Loctite, nail polish, whatever. Just stake your castle nut. So what this uh, adds as a benefit is it has, um, let's see if I can compare it here. Compared to the mill spec castle nut, the small notch that would normally get staked, it has a steeper angle on the forward controls one, which allows for a more secure stake job. The other thing it has too is that these small notches where the stakes would go are spaced closer together you're supposed to stake it in two spots but these on the regular one are so spaced out you can only get two and sometimes only one but this actually is spaced so well that you can actually if I wanted to I could stake it in three locations so uh, also right here you'll notice this little shiny piece this is the four controls reinforced buffer retainer it is still circular it's not uh, rectangle or anything like that so it still allows 360 degrees just like the mil spec one but it's just a little bit upgraded as far as the machining goes the material and the beefiness I mean I think it's only like five or six bucks pretty cheap insurance Pretty good profile there. And I figured I'd end this video. I know it's kind of a quick one, but I just wanted to say hey and let you guys know I'm still alive, still kicking, still loving life. Um, figured I'd just show you guys some of the, the small upgrades I did and then and then also show you how to stake stake the castle nut. So for those of you who are not aware what staking the castle nut means, I'll just show you real close here. 
these small notches you're supposed to stake it in two locations and you're gonna stake the end plate move material right into the small notch of the castle nut and what that does is it prevents this from backing off uh, without a significant um, amount of manual force by you or the armorer right um, and you want to make sure that your threads are greased and you want to make sure that your castle nut is torqued to 40 foot pounds and then you stake these. Now I was taught by the late William Larson how to stake in his M4 Armors class and it's really this simple. First he recommends the see if you can see this a 24001 532nd and 4 millimeter punch. It's a center punch it's nice and sharp just to give you a comparison of a cheaper one I got this one from Menards like it is not sharp at all so this one's nice and sharp probably made out of a lot better material too anyway what you're gonna do is you're gonna place this in the center of the end plate and then in the center of the notch so center and center and you're just gonna go straight down so here it is close up nice and staked and then I'll go ahead and do one on the other side as well so after you got it nice and staked what I do is I just take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and on the two spots that I staked just make sure that it's clean um, and then I just take some of this super black touch-up pen you don't have to do this step but you know, it just looks a little bit nicer So there you are. There's a nicely staked castle nut. And again, that was the 24001 Mayhew center punch, 532nd. They also make the spring loaded center punches. So you can put it where you want it and then just push. And then it'll stake. But this, I feel, gives you more control because then you, you end up controlling how hard you bang it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this short little video with some cool upgrades. If you have any questions, please hit me up. NSZ85.com. You can get a hold of me on uh, email that way. Or Nate at NSZ85.com is the email. Otherwise, you know, Facebook, Instagram, all those things. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope everyone's doing good. We'll catch you later. See ya.